everybody, welcome back to Sakura Santa. Now, we're, I found out that Santina over here is my fucking daughter. Don't even question it. I know this game is meant to have her be Santa, but clearly I'm the only Santa in this world, and my will is law, so I'm, I'm making her my daughter. And it only just makes this game more creepy than it already is. So, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna let it roll. You know, we don't judge here on Santa's gaming channel. Okay, cool. All right, just relax. Everything will be fine. That's definitely something I never expected to say. Now, there's a cute girl stretched out of my apartment floor. She's actually quite pretty with a bit of, you know, in the right places. Uh, I should have let myself get distracted. The first thing I do is try to free her from that mess. As I look at the mountain of Christmas decorations, I begin to despair. I don't have any idea how I'm going to manage it, but I'll try. Also, okay, I'm going to get you out of this mess. Okay. I tug out a bit of tinsel, but she lets out a sharp cry. Th that's pulling on something. It seems to be wrapped around her chest, so that every time I pull, it squeezes. God, I wish it was my hands with those lights right now. I thought that the view wasn't nice, because it is, but she seems really upset. Uh, I'm going to need to reach around. I have, I have a lot of experience with the reach arounds. <laughs> Wait, is that a gay joke? I start to pull on it again, this time taking it slow. She only lets go of a small sniffle this time. Success is free. Now I need to get the Christmas lights. Except they are wrapped around her over her thighs until they... That's going to be a problem. A massive problem. Be gentle, Santa, please. This is the first time. The first time you're being, what, wrapped up in shit and I have to untangle you? I'm not just a high schooler anymore, but there are some places that are... How the fuck do I do this without... Oh, who am I kidding? There's no way. I have to fucking do it. <laughs> After one of the greatest struggles of my life, Santina is free from the decorations. She stifles again. Why am I so clumsy? Everything's going wrong, wrong, wrong. Hey, everything's fine, okay? You're hot. Don't worry about it. I'm happy that you visited me, Santa, you know. Thank, thank you, Santa. You remind me of... you... a little. Yeah, damn right. He's such a gentle man. I am. Oh, I don't doubt it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure I can measure up to an actual legend. I am the goddamn legend! I am the legendary Santa. Now then, let's decorate. Uh, of course. Wow, that actually looks kind of cool. After a short while, we cover the room with lights. Now for the most important decoration. It's not Christmas without a Christmas tree, is it? Uh, not at all. Before I know it, it goes up in the corner. Come on, we have to get it ready. Her merriment is infectious. Sure, I'd love to, because it's Christmas. From the massive box of decorations she brought, we pull out all kinds. Both of us reach for the same branch, our fingers pressing against each other. This is sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, she's getting really worked up over it. What a shy girl. After a while, the tree is done. We did it! Doesn't it look lovely? Absolutely! For a moment, we sat together and admire our handiwork. It feels warmer in here now. Do you think so? Uh, that's just because, uh, you know... We're just getting real hot in here, if you know what I mean. Yes, I could tell how gloomy it was. There wasn't any Christmas cheer here at all. But now, there's plenty of it. She sheepishly fidgets in place. Sorry about today, by the way. I, I was nervous because that was the first time I've shown someone in my workshop. Really? I'm the first person to see my own goddamn workshop that you stole from me? Yes. That's what I thought. That's actually really special, isn't it? Most people don't see Santa in their entire lives. I, I know, God knows I don't let them. Freaking knock their heads on a crowbar so they don't remember shit! Yet I got invited to her workshop. If I didn't know any better, why me exactly? Well, I just think you're, the, you're special, Santa. And after you helped me so much, I wanted to do something nice for you. Then blow me! There's something there, at least. Well, thank you, Santina. I thank you for the decorations. You're welcome. If you're lacking Christmas spirit, I won't be far away. She glances at the clock. Oh, I still got more toys to make before the big day. I'll come back another day. Don't you have L's for that? If not, I'll let you some of mine. You know, they're pretty expendable. Thank you for letting me in today, Santa. You're welcome. Just remember to use the door next time, like a human. Okay. She begins to climb. Hey, no! I said use the door, not the goddamn window. But I might get lost. Stop it! Jesus Christ, what a dumb bimbo. God, I blame Mrs. Claus. It's in her, on her side of the family. Yesterday, I was morbid about how there was no one to spend Christmas with. Now it seems I won't have enough time to spend. The full ring in my apartment cuts through my thoughts. Hello? Mother Claus? Hi, Koji! Your brother called recently! He said he said a lot! <coughs> <coughs> I haven't heard from you in a long time.
long time, Santa! Our uh, fine, Mother! Are you sure? What are you doing for Christmas? I don't know yet. I'm spending time with my illegitimate... Your, your illegitimate granddaughter, apparently! Although something has an interesting happened today. How do I explain it? What happened, Kaji? Uh, God damn it! It's Santa! I told you, don't ever use my real name! Mm. A girl invited me over to her place. That's kind of like the truth if you squint it a bit closer enough. Really? She's interested in you? Oh my god! Some, some boy actually... Fucking... Oh god, I said the wrong thing. Some girl is actually interested in my big old bitch of a Santa son? As far as I know, Ma. Not sure what will happen from here. That's wonderful, Santa. Just shut the fuck up, Mom. Does she have a big family? What's her father like? Oh, God, you don't want to know, Mom. How can I answer these questions? Oh, yeah. Real big family. If I remember correctly, she said they're so numerous she lost track. That's great. She's a nice girl, right? Don't let her go, Santa. Oh, how do I tell you who the girl is? Do I just say, hey, Mom, I'm dating my daughter? I'll try my best, Mother. Anyway, I have to go enjoy Christmas, Gucci. I said it's Santa! <sighs> Bye, Mom. That was the worst conversation I've ever had with myself. My throat feels like it's fucking on fire. Oh, well, that was a day. I had a lot of fun, though. A day with Santa turns out to be quite interesting. I've learned that magic is real, at least Christmas magic. Santina is a gifted toy maker in spite of her clumsiness. The size of her family is still amazing, but I guess it makes sense in retrospect, except for the part where she's my daughter. I mean, there's no way that there's only one Santina Claus handles everything, right? Even if she had elves, there's no way he, she could deliver it all by himself. So he apparently made sure there were enough Santas to keep up. This is, this is a fucking time paradox, I swear to God. What a Christmas dinner is like when they all have the same name in the same room. Hey, Santa, can you pass the gravy? But I'm the one most interested in this cute, clumsy girl I found. I want to learn all about her. But when will she turn up again? There's still plenty of time until Christmas, so I wonder. I'll just have to think about it. <clears throat> oh my god. Well, I guess I'll go visit... Uh, Akina. Yeah, I think I'll visit her. She said she was off in the spirit realm yesterday, but that she wanted a date. Oh, I hope she wasn't expecting it to be yesterday, because then I stood her up. <laughs> it's a little sudden, but yeah, I'll accept. So there's no reason to leave, not to leave now. Whew, that took a while. It feels like the path was longer this time. But I, surely it didn't actually grow, right? The priest hobbles out to greet me. Oh, good. Good to see you, Walker. Akira told me about you. Well, you knew about her? Of course. It's my business to know her. Though normally I don't have people flooding with the spirit of the shrine. Except me, on Thursdays. Uh, uh, visitors are rare, huh? Yes, please your soul. This is the first time I see her take such an interest in someone. You must be a truly kind soul. <laughs> oh, I'm nothing special. I'm just the father of an incredibly successful magical child's legend. Hmm, you say that yesterday, and yet... Well, I'm not gonna keep you any longer. I can the spirit of the shrine come forth. Your date is here! A loud thump back goes through the shrine. I can passes out her skirt, side sparkling. Crap, I don't remember her voice. Okay, I remember it now. <clears throat> Great, Koji, you're here. We're going to have a lot of fun together. You gotta say, at least. Uh, please make sure that you come back soon, Akira. The way the priest talks to her is almost fatherly. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Yeah, she's a bit higher pitched, I remember. But full on, we're already walking through the forest. Huh, it looks like the space here got warped. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, just a work related thing. You shouldn't worry about it. Just look at it. Just think about today. Oh, uh, thinking about today reminds me of the long walk down the path. I guess the forest really did grow bigger. Well, she doesn't seem worried, so I guess I shouldn't be either. Now, I just want to ask her questions, though. Aren't there rules or anything for a spirit who leaves their shrine? Isn't she kind of abandoning her job going out with me? It's fine. I just have to finish up working before I can go on a holiday. After all, it's Christmas. They celebrate Christmas at the spirit realm? Well, no, but I heard people talking about it at the shrine. I haven't been up for a long time. No wonder she's so excited. But are you okay with this? Or are you just going right to our date? She grabs me by the arm and rubs her chest against it. Whoa! Why wouldn't I be? I know you aren't a bad person. The people who are kind really think no one else is looking are the best kind of people. I just, you and the priest, and you still chose to help him. I mean, that's the right thing to do. I don't need to be rewarded. There's no need to be shy about Santa. You did a good thing. Oh, look, we're in the city now. 
As we enter downtown, her eyes manage to shine even brighter, reflecting on the lights of the city. All the decorations, they're beautiful. She really is admiring the stores lined with so many colorful lights and more. It's like I'm with a kid that's seen everything for the first time. What's this? What's that? There's color everywhere! What's this? There's white things in the air! I fucking love that movie! Santa! Santa! I can barely believe my eyes! It looks like she can barely contain her excitement. This place has grown so big in only a few years. Um, has it been that long? Yes, I mean, I spent most of my time on my way. So how are you walking around without everyone staring at your fox parts? Easy! I don't let anyone see them! So you just don't give your permission? Exactly! I have no idea how the fuck that's supposed to work, but it's obviously not human. Suddenly, her attention is snared by another store. What do they sell there, Santa? She points towards it with her ears pierced attentively. Oh yeah, that's the big deal, though, so you don't want to go there yet. It's probably just another. Then they actually turn to see it. Nothing! They don't sell anything there! Nothing at the big dildo store! Eh? Nothing? They must sell something. How else would they stay in business? Uh, nothing you'd be interested in, really. It's just, you know, <clears throat> lots of sex toys and stuff. How would I know that if I don't look? Let's just not go in there, okay? Her ears droop again. I feel like I kicked a puppy. God damn it. Well, if Santa doesn't want... Uh, fine, let's just go. Oh, Christ, this is so bad. I feel manipulated, but I'm pretty sure the only one doing this, it is me, to myself. I can't resist that face. Really? It's okay? Yes, just let's go before I get second thoughts, okay? She practically drags me into the building. Yay, let's go. I want to see everything. As we enter the shop, a small shiver of dread goes down my spine. Oh, great, it's this place. <clears throat> Akira's expression is puzzled, to say the least. Um, what is that nothing that they sell here, Koji? Well, exactly that. You see how little this shit would cover? It's practically nothing. It's a lingerie shop. Huh? What is that? Why did I get picked to be the tour guide to ladies under things? It's something... That you wear under your clothes and let me take off very slowly later. Or rip if I'm in a naughtier mood. Oh, so it's not supposed to feel cold under this kimono. What? You're not wearing any underwear. No? Is that weird? Very much! <laughs> Suddenly my thoughts are captured by the image of a breeze coming by and... Welcome! Out of the town with your boyfriend? The shop attendant suddenly comes into view. That's right! Wait, when did I become her boyfriend? Oh man, Santina's gonna get jealous. So, what side of you do you want your boyfriend to see? Something wild, dark, innocent? Oh, can I just tilt her head to the side? I don't really know yet. Well, let's just try things on and see what you like. I can tell you all about what's most popular right now. I'm definitely a dude, being a creeper at a lingerie shop. <laughs> I feel awkward, to say the least. But I did agree to go on a date with Akira, right? Yes, yes. Tell me about everything new. All right. I promise you it'll be cute. Or sexy, depending. They wander off, taper off into the shop. That leads me to wander around and stare at the undergarments. I feel like everyone's staring at me. I probably look like some kind of weirdo. The attendant comes back, fortunately. Would you like to come with us to the dressing room? Uh, yes, please. She's really... Sh oh, oh, whoops. It is a woman. My bad. She's really straightforward, but I guess she does this all the time. Don't worry, I'll take my boyfriend's lingerie shopping all the time. It's no big deal. Yeah, thank you. I don't exactly feel reassured, but it isn't like I get it as far. When I get there, she's still inside. It leaves me waiting awkwardly for a couple of minutes. Her eyes shine like they ever do when she steps out, smiling brightly when she sees me. Did you, uh, find something you like? Then she grabs the edge of her kimono. If she shows me, I swear- Oh my god. Lifting it up. She shows me her pink panties, held on by barely thin straps and marked by a cute bow. These ones, Santa. What do you think? I'm totally dumbfounded. My mouth feels like it's full of cotton. People surely must be whispering about this. This can't be normal. This is a fucking public place, goddammit. What are you doing? You can't just flash your panties at people. Why not? Aren't they good? My eyes are inevitably drawn to the panties again. Yeah. They cover much less than I expected. That's... Not the problem. Aw, I was sure these were your type. It's not that I dislike them. It's just you can't flash your panties in public like that. Huh? Aren't you supposed to show your boyfriend these things? Oh, uh, not on the first date. God. Oh, I know. I should loosen them up a little. No! What? Yes! God damn, this is getting to my hormones. Oh, God, Santa's so horny. 
With agonizing slowness, she begins to tug at the straps, and then the straps begin to slip down, down, down. Underwear is ancient. There's no way you don't know what panties are. <laughs> you got me there. St still, I did want to know what they look, what you like. So, do you like them pink or cute or maybe dark and lacy? How do you prefer a girl to wear them? She's curious. I'll give her that. How about like this? She suddenly pulls on the straps, making the fabric outline the shape of her. It's almost like I could feel the bleeding. She's, the stairs just drilling into my spine. Enough! You had your fun. You're such a fucking tease. Enough of what? She lets go of the straps and they snap back into place. You cheeky fucking fox. But no, seriously, do you like them? I force myself to look down over my embarrassment. I think they look good on you. Her eyes seem like they really are gold when I say that. Wonderful. Thank you, Santa. Right. This is how I'll get out of this. She'll be satisfied once she finds a purchase, right? They do look good on her. Besides, uh... I got ten more that I want to try on, and then the shopping attendant said, So much for that. I suppose. What doesn't kill? What doesn't kill but makes me stronger? Okay. Eventually, she sells on the pair of panties. I lost track of the number of times we visit. Shops we visit. But then we take a break in the park. I guess being a fox spirit, well, pays well. Because these shopping bags are getting heavy. You know, Santa? Yeah. I wasn't kidding. I wasn't wearing any underwear. Yeah, it's real hot. <coughs> uh, does she just enjoy the breeze then? I guess she doesn't have any sense of modesty. So, you know what panties are, but you don't wear them. Right, it's much more comfy without them. Then why did you buy them just now? Because you said you liked them. Her ears began to falter again. Oh, no. Maybe, maybe you were just saying that. Tell me the truth, Santa. How do they look? Preferably, I want you to not wear anything. and Just come home with me, but... Logically, in the sense of this game, I wasn't lying. I really did like them. How did I get to talking with a fox spirit about modern underwear again? Oh, dude, this is Japan. Yeah, I visit this place all the time. If I were still in high school, I wouldn't be able to speak for a moment of the embarrassment. I'm not sure how well I'm doing now either, but I guess I can still talk. Good, I'm glad, Santa. It still seems kind of weird to me for a first date. Dates are supposed to be fun. Buying panties is fun. I guess that's true. Though I'm not sure how much fun it is for who, really. What sort of places does she come from? Hey, Akina, are you really a spirit? Of course, see this tale? It flits from side to side. I mean, it could just be a costume prop. Oh, of course. Can I touch it? Her eyes widen in shock. T -t touch my tail? No, I, I can't. That tail seems to be twitching all over the place. My tail, it's... it's... What about your tail? It's your erogenous zone, right? It's sensitive. Yeah, that's what I thought. I've actually found something she is shy about. It might be the only thing. A little while ago, you were flashing me and probably the rest of the store. Now you're embarrassed over your tail. You don't understand. My tail is sensitive. It's... It's... It's like... It's way different. It's, it's sensitive in an erotic way. Yeah, we're going to have to cut off this time because Santa's voice is really starting to go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Come back for more Sakura Santa content, and I will see you guys next time. Ho, ho, bye-bye. <laughs>